In the early years of Shalon's life, Monique admitted to not being present as much as she should have been. This created a wall of difficulties between the mother and son, a wall that has proven hard to tear down. Monique has expressed remorse for this absence, apologizing to Shalon and making continuous efforts to mend the strained bond. However, the story takes a turn when Monique appeared on Club Shay Shay. Here, she opened up about their estranged relationship, expressing hope that time would heal the wounds. Listen, I've done what I could do. I've taken accountability for it. Now it's up to you, she said, indicating that the ball was now in her son's court. Following this, Watkins Jr., her son, responded on TikTok on February 13th, challenging his mother's narrative. He claimed that both of them knew the narrative to be false and expressed his desire for his mother to be free from the need to continue telling this lie. Furthermore, he cited the lack of effort from both sides to reconcile, stating, faith without work is dead. He went on to critique his mother's reliance on her husband, expressing concern over her inability to speak for herself. The situation escalates as he accuses her husband of validating his original video by doing exactly what he predicted they would. To summarize, the relationship between Monique and her son remains strained, marked by misunderstandings and a lack of effort to reconcile. Each party has their own perspective on the situation, creating a complex narrative that continues to unfold. Despite Monique's public admissions and apologies, her son remains skeptical and their relationship hangs in the balance. Monique recently posted text messages from three to four years ago. What kind of mother responds online to her child, no matter his age? I'm baffled. I hope they can take us out the group chat and get family therapy instead. Should the husband be responding? What's your take on it? It's a stark reminder of how important presence and understanding are in shaping a child's life and the lasting impacts of their absence. Please like and subscribe.